very quick video on one of the most useful but probably least used and certainly least visible functions on the DJI Fly app. I'm talking about maps and the little radar symbol that you have in the lower left, and just how useful that is when you're out and about flying. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones. And like I said, very quick video today because I do believe that a lot of people are unaware of just how useful the map function is and certainly the little radar option that's an alternate view. Mainly because the default view of, um, of the map is such a small, tiny tile. It doesn't actually show you anything. You've got to tap in order to expand it. And then you've got to tap almost invisible buttons that are so small you really wouldn't know they're buttons unless you're told they are uh, in order to get more of the functionality out. So without further ado, let's take off. Now, let's tap the map. First off, you tap it and you can see how it expands and you can see a number of little items on here. First of all, you've got the blue arrow of the drone itself. It, the, it, the blue arrow is showing you the direction of the drone. So if I turn the drone round on its axis, you can see the arrow turning and turn it back to face away from me and you can see how the arrow points away. Now, you also have two other main features. You've got the blue dot, that's where I am standing with the remote control, and you have the uh, yellow disc with the H on, and that is the home point where the drone took off from. Now, normally they're gonna be very close together, of course, but if you're walking or on a bike and you're increasing that distance, you will then see the distance between the H and the blue round dot of where you are at the moment increase. So, let's just fly off a little bit. As you fly, you can see two, I'm gonna expand the map, that's another trick you can do, tap the map, and it will actually swap. So you can actually have a look at the map in large screen and you've got the camera view in the small screen. And you can swap back again by tapping the lower left tile again and you can see how it swaps. So again, that's a useful little function. If you didn't know, you wouldn't know. So just for now, I'm gonna keep things large so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, as I move the drone around and fly sideways for a little bit, you can see it plotting out two different lines. Now you've got the blue line, which of course is the actual route that your drone has been flying. So after a bit of a long flight, you will see a bit of a squiggly old uh, line. All the time though, you have a straight uh, brownie orange line. And that of course is the direct line back to the home point and back to yourself. Now, quite often uh, you'll only see the little blue arrow of the drone itself, and you won't even see where the home point is. Now, top right of the little map tile, you've got a tiny little button there, and if you tap that, it's simply, it's a minus or a plus, and all you're doing, it's a zoom. So now, if I tap that, I've zoomed out, and you can now see the home point and the current location of me and the drone all squeezed in. Tap it again, and you're zo you've zoomed in again. Now, if the map data is blank and just literally a white screen, it's because you're flying in a new location and the RC hasn't actually got the map data for the area you're in. Remember, you'll need to turn on the Wi-Fi for the RC and your phone's hotspot in order to connect it to the internet and download map data for where you're currently flying. I've done videos on how to do that. It's very easy. I've also done another video on how to uh, pre-download or cache the maps in advance if you know where you're flying. That's pretty much all I want to say on the map. Because what I actually think is a more useful function is the alternate view of the map, where you're not actually seeing the map at all. If you tap this invisible button on the lower right, you see it now changes to a little radar screen. And this doesn't need any map data. It doesn't need any mobile data. Um, it literally just always shows you the position of the drone, the orientation of the drone, and crucially, the level of the drone as well. You can see a small horizon there. Now let's turn around and move the drone sideways and you'll see straight away how the horizon tilts. And then if I fly the drone in the other direction sideways, you'll see the horizon tilt again. That is literally reflecting the angle of, uh, of the pitch of, of the drone, if you like, as it's maneuvering. And if you're in a strong wind and you see that uh, horizon is quite steep, you know the drone is struggling in order to keep its uh, position and location. So another useful little uh, bit of information there. So look, the last thing I want to show you is again what the radar screen is actually uh, showing you. You've got the same blue arrow of the drone, but crucially it never goes out of the screen. So you've always got the three elements. You've always got the home point, you've got the blue dot of where you are now, and you've got the drone's location. No need to be zooming in and out. 
you always know the orientation of yourself and the drone in relation to yourself. Now, just like with the map, as you turn, so the little display turns as well. So when you're facing where the drone is, the little blue arrow will be directly in front of you. And if you turn to the left, now the drone is on my physical right. So you can see that the little blue arrow is indeed on the right of the little radar. And if you turn all the way around and facing away from the drone, you can see that the drone, the blue arrow is behind you. So I like the radar view because no matter how far away you've flown, as I said, all the elements are there displayed on one succinct little display. Now you can also change the display here. If you tap this little button on the top left, it now places the drone at the center of the universe, if you like, and shows where the home point is in relation to the drone's current position. I don't find that very useful. I prefer to keep myself as the center of the universe and know exactly where the drone is in relation to me. Now, unlike with maps, you don't have a little brown line in order to show you where the direct route is back. You don't need to, because like I said, with the little radar, you always have the three elements. You have yourself, the home point, and the drone always displayed on that same uh, little display. So when that blue arrow is pointing to the blue dot, you know it's coming home to you. And sure enough now, if I fly straight forwards, the drone is coming straight back. So there you go, you've got two simple views of the same functionality. And if you know exactly what each of the symbols means, then you know exactly where the orientation is of your drone at any time. Now, I should add a little caveat here. The CAA recently added some additional clarification on the guidance of what their definition of VLOS is, visual line of sight, keeping the drone in, uh, in your line of sight. They have also advised that you need to be able to tell the orientation of your drone without relying on the telemetry, on the information you see on your screen. Um, I find that a little bit surprising. Uh, to me, if the screen went black, uh, you'd have a bit of a flyaway. And in all my years of flying, I haven't actually had a screen go black on me. Um, however, I don't make the rules, the CAA do. So that's the guidance uh, that they have issued. You can't always rely on the telemetry you see. You must be able to see with your eyes the direction that your drone is facing in order for you to control it. That said, I still believe the map and the radar functions and the displays are extremely useful and any information you get in order to keep yourself aware of what's happening around you and which direction your drone is flying in to me is always a good thing. But there you go, look, again, as ever, I say it too often, if you didn't know this stuff existed, you probably wouldn't know, because the user guide gives you literally a paragraph on this and does not go into any detail as to the functionality of the map or the radar function behind it. You wouldn't know those were buttons unless you were told they were, so yeah, hopefully you found this a bit useful, and if you have, give me a little thumbs up, as it always helps the video course. Either way, until next time, as ever, have fun, happy flying.